The family of a five-year-old boy with cerebral palsy believes a hair salon discriminated against him because of the disorder. The salon says that's not true and calls it a misunderstanding. KFDM's Justin Hinton investigates. <laughs> Nothing stands in the way of Gabriel Goss and playtime. <gasps> there you are. He's like any other five-year-old. A normal afternoon consists of toys and more toys. 100% five-year-old boy. <laughs> Every once in a while, his family gets him to sit down long enough for a haircut. The usual spot, beauty surprise inside Parkdale Mall. They took him there Monday. They didn't take his hat off. They didn't touch him. They didn't even look at him. I mean, they were still sitting down behind the desk and never even bothered to acknowledge him in any way. Gabriel's nanny, Carol Gusecki, believes it's because he has cerebral palsy. You experience prejudice your whole life, but nothing has ever cut through my heart is the way those people treated him. And I just thank God that he is so innocent. He didn't know. Many of our special needs populations are very talented, very gifted. Kay DeQueer serves as the executive director of the Shorky Center in Beaumont. Among other things, the Special Needs Learning Center works with people who have cerebral palsy. You can talk about cerebral palsy, you can read about autism, you can read about Down syndrome. So there's a wealth of information out there. So really there's not an excuse for anyone not to know how to cope with the different individualities that we all have. She says ensuring the success of people with special needs requires work from both parties, as in any relationship. Learn to work collaboratively together and know what your needs are going to be and you know what my needs are going um, to be. We have to build that bond. The hairstylists say they try to do just that. I mean, we're willing to leave anybody and everybody. I say as long as we're all comfortable doing it, we'll be willing to do it. Blake Adair remembers when Gabriel came into the store for his haircut. The boy's usual stylist wasn't there. Adair says he was a bit concerned Gabriel might move around too much to safely cut his hair. A concern the stylist says he'd have cutting any kid's hair. I'm new in this profession. I've only had my license for a month maybe. And so I myself didn't feel comfortable. I was saying I didn't want to accidentally cut him and turn the situation into something more. The family ended up going to another salon in the mall. They returned to Beauty Surprise to show the stylist Gabriel had in fact gotten his hair cut. Adair says that's when the receptionist tried to explain if they had waited, they would have been helped. Son of a gun. Not good enough for Grusecki, who says she'll continue going somewhere else where she feels Gabriel will be respected. Show him your haircut. Look down and say, look at that. In Beaumont, Justin Hinton, KFDM 6 News. Stylist manager DJ Estrada wasn't there when Gabriel and his family came in for the haircut. Estrada apologizes for any confusion and calls it all a big mis misunderstanding. He says he's also willing to offer Gabriel a free haircut with his usual stylist.